Hey y'all, I know there are a lot of questions out there about should I buy this organic or what should I do uh, when it comes to organic or not organic? And there are a lot of buzzwords in foods that can be super confusing and difficult. Well, first off, organic is in fact a term that's regulated by the government, so they have to fulfill certain protocols. What exactly they have to fulfill is kind of complicated. They are in fact allowed to use some kind of levels of pesticides. Certain things are allowed within that. And, um, but they are things that are considered to be, that they meet these organic standards, whatever those may be. You can go on the internet and Google it and you can actually find the document that tells you what that is. From a standpoint of um, what to buy that's organic or is it important to buy things that are organic, I know for me personally, I do like to buy things that are more organic. However, it can be really expensive and when you're looking to start to buy new foods that are uh, difficult for you, or maybe you are a little bit tight on cash, I would much rather you buy vegetables than worry about them being organic or not. Same thing about fresh versus frozen. Frozen veggies can actually be really wonderful. I keep frozen broccoli and carrots and things in my freezer because just in case I ran out or I forgot to get to the store, I have something in there that I can still cook up because Frozen vegetables are not, they're not any less nutritious than the fresh vegetables. They actually freeze them at a place so that it preserves a whole lot of the nutrition. But when it comes to organic, what I tell people is vegetables are more important than that side of it. But if you care and you have the money and you'd like to go a little bit farther into organic, then you can start with the Environmental Working Group's Dirty Dozen. Now, that changes from year to year. Don't have it all memorized now. I have had it memorized in the past. Um, but that gives you a list of the 12 most pesticide-laden uh, fruits and vegetables out there. And oftentimes there's usually a 13th one on the list as well. So that gives you a good idea of these are the foods that are the most pesticide-laden. So these are the foods that I'm going to want to buy organic. Now I know organic can be more expensive, but at the end of the day, if you're buying organic fruits and vegetables, while they are more expensive than conventional fruits and vegetables, their overall grocery bill will probably not actually go up as much as you think it might because you're not buying product packages. Really where organic as a label starts to make things expensive is when you're buying organic mac and cheese versus craft or whatever it might be. That's really when organic starts to bump up the price a lot. My answer to that one is you shouldn't be buying any of it. So, or at least not regularly. So if you choose to buy organic for the once every month that you choose to buy that thing, that's on you, it's your call. I don't really know personally that it makes much of a difference. Um, however, if it is really important to you to vote with your dollar, then always buy organic. Otherwise, if your budget's a little bit tighter, buy vegetables first. That's the most important thing is get the nutrition in. After that, maybe try and use the Environmental Working Group's Dirty Dozen to pick and choose which ones you might spend a little bit more money on. Then in a perfect world, maybe everything is organic. And an even more perfect world, you actually buy local, directly from the farmer. Because there are a lot of farmers out there who are in fact beyond organic. They do better practices than even the USDA standard, but they don't want to pay the money to get the organic label. So they don't get to be labeled organic. So that's my brief rundown about organic. Again, check out the Environmental Working Group's Dirty Dozen. I think we're gonna have a link for you guys below or to the side, I don't know where, but we'll have a link for you so you guys can get to that page easily. Again, that's my rundown on organics. It's a little bit different from everybody, but definitely make sure you're getting fruits and vegetables. That's the most important part and don't let organic stop you from eating them. That's it for today. Let me know if you have more questions.